as I said, to be the deliberate creator of five things or important five laws, law of thinking, law of focus, law of, law of vibration, vibration, right? Law when? of desirability. Yes. Law of desirability. Law of attraction. Right. Absolutely. Fantastic, Mohanji. Great. Thank you so much. So, these five laws are important. First, let's understand law of thinking. Nobody has taught us how to think right. Whenever the situation comes, we saw our parents are getting panic, tension. When there is no money, they will get frustrated, they will get angry. So, we thought that is the way of thinking, that is the way of reacting it. That is the way of feeling it. So we learned how to think by seeing others. And most of the time we learned in a negative way. Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. So the thinking was wrong. And the feeling part is also wrong, which is law of vibration. And then law of focus. So we are focusing on the problem. So whenever some problem comes in our life uh, from our family, they keep thinking about it again and again and again. So we thought that, oh, this is how I need to focus. Because the more I focus on my problem, we'll get a solution. That's what we thought about it. But whereas it will not yield you the good results. We need to focus towards the solution. Okay, yes, I have the problem now. What should I do to overcome this? Okay, let me do this. Let me do this. Let me do that. That will help us. Not on the problem-oriented thinking, but solution-oriented thinking. You need to write down. Solution-oriented thinking. Always do solution-oriented thinking. Whenever the situation comes, do what is the solution. Don't think that why this problem came. Think that how can I solve this problem? When you think about how can I solve, okay, how can I get more money? How can I get good package? How can I get more customers? How can I get good trading? How can I get good sleep? How can I get good relationships? How can I get healthy? How can I get fit? This is a solution-oriented thinking. This is the right thinking. You, the law of thinking will be solution-oriented thinking. Your focus. Focus also should be on undivided attention to what you want, not on what you don't want. So our mind focuses on what we don't want all the time because that's how we trained. And we think that is an intuition. That is, it's not an intuition because your ego will not give you any intuition. Only your soul can give you. And your soul will not give you any negative intuition, only give you positive intu intuitions. So never trust any, any negative thought come, just ignore. Acknowledge and just let go. So focus on, oh, I want peace. Oh, I want joy. I want harmony. I want love. I want abundance of money. Let me focus on that. Wow, I'm grateful. The best way to focus is focus on what you already have. Oh, I'm grateful for my salary. I'm so grateful for this payment. I'm so grateful for my food. I'm so grateful for my clothes. I'm so grateful for my home. Focus. Focus only on what you want, not on what you want. Not on what you don't want. Clear? Two laws? Yes, yes. Third law is law of vibration. Whenever you feel bad, there are only two feelings. Bad feeling, good feeling. Including boredom, neutral, all these feelings will come to bad feeling only. So, either you feel good, either you feel bad. If you are thinking something, either you can think good or think feel bad. So, if you are thinking something and if you are feeling bad, oh, this is a bad feeling. I need to change. Flip. Like how we 
flip the dosa on the pan, just flip your thoughts. Oh, this is not a peaceful thought. Ask yourself, okay, is that is this thought? How am I feeling? Is this thought is relevant? Is this thought is good for me? If it is not good, change it. Otherwise, you just say cut, 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 cancel, 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 cancel. Otherwise, you can do this. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry, my dear subconscious mind. Please forgive me. Delete this information. Delete this information. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. So that you will delete that information from your subconscious mind database. And then think, wow, wow. This album is so beautiful. Wow. What a beautiful wall paint it is. Appreciate. Listen to the music. Go ahead and sleep. Listen to the rampages. Listen to the videos which we have. Read some messages. Read the manifestations. Read other manifestations. We automatically feel good. Or read your own manifestations. That's why I asked you, write down good things. Please write down any manifestation, small manifestation also. Maybe your neighbors gave you something. Put it down. The more you write down, because you don't think it just happened. Because you created it deliberately. You deserve it. That's why they are giving you. Getting it. So yes, one yes, thing, deservability. Yes, yes. Love deservability is loving ourselves, self-love. The more we love ourselves, the more we want it to do it ourselves, no matter what. We take care of ourselves better. We sleep well. We eat well. We drink well. And we feel that, oh, I deserve to have more good things for me. More materialistic things for me. Oh, I deserve to have more money in my life. I deserve to have more freedom in my life. I deserve to have more love in my life. I deserve all the good things. When you feel you deserve, that's where you get many things in your life. Do you deserve or not? Yes, we deserve more things. Yes, we deserve more. Yes, you deserve it. When you deserve, you receive. Say to yourself, I deserve all the good and abundance in the universe. I'm open and receptive to all the good and abundance in the universe. Abundance flows into my life. I'm, I'm enjoying all the God riches. I have deserved to enjoy all the riches in this planet. I want to be rich. I'm born to be abundant. I'm abundant in all ways. I love myself. Can you see the difference? Yes, ma'am. Now you tell me why the law of attraction will not work. We are living in a law of attraction based universe. Law of attraction is working all the time. It's only we don't know how to use it properly. Now you understand it, use it correctly. By thinking right, by focusing right, by vibrating right, by feeling deserved right, you attract only good things. Is it clear? Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes. I'm done with the session. If you have any questions, you can ask me or if you have any sharings, you can do the sharing or if you want to give feedback, you can do that or if you want to share any manifestations, you are open. I have one question. Hello. Yes, please. Uh, what is what, what is Brahma Murtam and why are uh, Warning our, is there any signs behind it? Uh, 3 Did I talk any time about you? 
to do it in brahma murta only any time no, no i had, I had uh, and whom ever was i never said to you to write anything in brahma whom ever you you got it you should ask them who is the brahman here ourself who is the brahman ourself so awesome. when you are brahman what time ever you get up it is a brahma murta only no <laughs> let's say you are getting up at 10 o'clock is it a devil murta or what <laughs> is it like a ghost murta or people who are getting up at 8 o'clock or they are bad or bad spirits or what do you understand it First, you should understand the concept of it. When you are the creator, what time you get up is a creator time only. And people call it as Brahma Murta. It's like for people who wanted to create, maybe that particular time it is peaceful because there is no outside disturbance. So people feel that that is a nice creation time. It's just a placebo effect. When you believe that will be right. to do it nothing wrong nothing wrong nothing harm will be if you want it brahma murta is we all know right before 5 5 13 people call it as a brahma murta so if you want to do any affirmations any meditation people say it is a good because there is very less noise and less disturbance from your own family but if you feel no disturbance at 10 o'clock you can do it making sense have you are you clear arun kumar i am clear i am good any other question <clears throat> any other questions no madam it depends actually see every soul is unique so to give you clear cut idea dr joe dispenza is someone he is a morning person he sleeps very early at 9 o'clock and he wakes up at 4 o'clock and he does one hour of meditation that is one way of leading the life and uh, bruce lipton and uh, greg braden is someone they are also again friends they are all colleagues they worked in a same university with the same research on neuroscience bio, cell, cell biology and these two researchers they work so hard their uh, working capabilities are more or creative ideas are more during night 11 o'clock time so they go to sleep around 2 to 3 o'clock where dr jode spencer wakes up these people go to sleep but these people are bad or what no they are the great scientist are you guys getting it Yes, yes. Simply, their timings are different. See, whatever the Brahma Murta for us in US, it is working time. For them, whatever the Brahma Murta time is, it is for a working time. So it is absolutely based on the perception that we take. If you think this is right, it is right for you. If you think this is not right for you, it is not right for you, because you are the creator. this is what i tell nothing is right nothing is wrong in this planet everything is right everything is wrong if you it's based upon your thinking what you think is it all making sense yes sir cool but it is it's not about what time you wake up but what you do after you wake up matters a lot whether you get up at 6 o'clock whether you get up at 4 o'clock 3 o'clock doesn't matter after you wake up at least one hour you dedicate for yourself that is minimum one hour you do goals writing you create your day a uh, planning scheduling affirmations goals writing meditation whatever the inner work for your soul one hour for your soul 23 hours we are spending for our body is your soul 
deserves one hour of your time? Yes, yes. Yes, ma'am. Let's spend it reading books. Just be with yourself. That first hour is a creation hour. That's what it's, uh, it's called a Brahma Murtha, which means where you create. Those days, these pandits, they used to take bath, go to the river and do the yoga, Surya Namaskar and do the pranayam and then take the bath in the river and they, have, they were doing the chantings to reprogram their mind. How many times that they do chanting? 108 times. Yes or no? Yes, yes. Am I telling you to offer 108 times every day? <laughs> no, right? No, no, no. I'm making it you very simple. Five times, tell affirmation at least five times, 21 times. It was a very rigorous process. If you want, you can do it. Get up at three o'clock, go to river, take cold water bath and then do chanting. That's upward. Yes, yeah, we don't want. We are here for fun, right? We are not here to struggle. When you wanted to have fun, why you want to struggle? Live joyfully, no? Have fun. My process is much more easier than any other process in this whole planet. It's damn easy. It's super, super, super easy to rewire someone's brain. If you are doing with consistency, you are seeing the results also. The more and more you do it, the more and more great results that we see. If possible, please join from tomorrow evening 6 o'clock from our foundation you can you can also spread this message you also become one you know great paramatma so that others will get benefit from you maybe somebody can you know they'll thank you arun kumar uh, i think uh, um, kartik has come through Arun Kumar, definitely I think Karthik must be grateful to Arun Kumar. Yes or no, Karthik? Yes, madam, very much great. thankful and grateful. Yeah, like that, you also spread. Maybe we don't know who is in need. Maybe your family members, maybe your friends. So that they'll understand the basics. They'll understand the importance. Ask your family members to join. Evening 6 o'clock, I think they will be free only. Tell them uh, they can do it after 7 o'clock work or, you know, before 6 o'clock. Ask them, just dedicate one hour to for your learning. Imagine they are doing it for four weeks. How much their life is going to change? How much they are going to thank you? Maybe their ego doesn't thank you. But their soul will thank you, right? Their soul will bless you, definitely, right? Definitely, definitely. Maybe you may not feel grateful sometimes to us, but definitely your soul always be grateful to us. Your soul must be always blessing us. That's why we are actually happy to be frank with you guys. Why we are actually happy is just because your souls are blessing us. Same way, you also get blessings from multiple people when we actually spread this knowledge because this is the only truth, the Satyam. Everybody should understand this Satyam, the truth. Once they understood this truth and they walk into this Jnana Yoga, the wisdom path, automatically they know themselves and they lead a fantastic life the way you guys are living. That's the reason I am actually doing this service fr from our foundation, even though it is not easy doing from office and from online. <clears throat> I still felt, let me do it. Let me give it more and more.
Yeah. So are you all committed to send to at least 50 people? At least out of 55 people may get benefit. We don't know. Yes or no? Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma this is not a network marketing. <laughs> this is only we helping other souls to know themselves. When our family members are happy, when Mohan took up this spirituality, I felt tremendous happy because now our bonding has increased. We are living happily. When my friends take up this spirituality, I felt happy because no conflicts, life will be easy. Like that, imagine all our family members, friends, whoever is ready for learning, how much peace that we have, how much peace that we can prevail in our family, in our friends, in our colleagues' life. Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. You don't know what is going, they are going mm -hmm. in their life. Maybe the relationship issues, maybe the depression, maybe mm -hmm. the financial crisis. We don't know who is going to get benefit. Only thing is, whatever it is possible from our side, we just do it as a matter of sharing. It will not cost us much. But for them, maybe it's a big deal, like you guys. They might find the good guru because of you. So can you all cooperate with us? Yes, ma'am, definitely. Yes, yes, we all work yes. as a team to change this world, to bring, to make this world as a heaven on earth. Yes, ma'am. How yes, beautiful it is sure, if you sure. make it as a heaven. All good, no? If everybody is smiling like us. Full lights. Always remember, everybody is a light. is a beautiful soul. But this beautiful soul, there is wraps lot of dust was wrapped. The more we peel off this wraps, you can see that Kohinoor diamond is shining. And that's what you are experiencing. Every time you're just removing one layer, one layer. It's like an onion peeling. Any other questions? Any other questions, guys? No, madam. Thank you so much. No, ma'am. No, ma Tomorrow, how many are joining at 6 o'clock evening? Myself. Myself, ma'am. Myself also. Good. So, Arun Kumar, you can join from office only. We'll do it from office. Okay. And others, you can join from online. So, I will buy another Zoom link. Zoom. So if anybody wants to donate for our Zoom also, you can donate for our foundation. Uh, so from foundation, actually, I don't have any funds only. So it is, I think, 1800 something. If anybody is interested, you can do it. You can send it to Mohan so that we will buy this new Zoom account from, you know, with your funding, with your donation. <laughs> so that it will reach actually per month. Maybe we don't know how many people it will reach. For 100 people, I think uh, we can get it. All right. So thank you so much, everyone. Uh, if you don't have any questions, you can share your experience. How was the session, today's session? Any feedback on today's session? It's more, more, we got more energy now. Normally, okay. what happened, normally what happened, Saturday is the weekend. So now it has flipped to week start, actually. <laughs> so now okay. this week we'll see more miracle sites. <laughs> yes, madam. That's what we manifest. <laughs> yes. Great. Great. Thank you. Yes, every session is a beautiful session. Uh, it's a powerful session. And uh, whatever you have learned, keep it with you. Learn, share, and then practice, implement. Implementation is the key. More you implement, you see the results. Right? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Any other questions? Any other sharing? How is the session, guys? Sanjeev, Mohanji, Shkashish, Arun? Yes, ma'am. 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 Yes, ma'
it was wonderful awesome session especially on the file loss which I we lost your voice you're uh you're uh, unmuted you're muted yes it was wonderful awesome session today and especially on the file loss the law of attraction the law of focus the law of thinking the law of desirability the law of uh, vibration it was a very good session where a lot of clarity i got in this file loss today with uh, good examples and good case studies you gave which, which will be remembered forever the case studies so that on a day to day activities also it will help uh, these file laws in our day day to day activities and also uh, during segment intensity during our affirmations everything it will work and law of attraction is always working out for me and it will definitely work for other people also i have tried and tested many times and uh, it also attracts uh, uh, i mean when, whenever we are negative it attracts those negative effort, those negative things also have attracted contrast and challenges also have attracted and have come out of this contrast also with uh, again with corrections and uh, giving good affirmations uh, good positive beliefs limiting beliefs where there it has been uh, what you call overcome and uh, i'm very grateful and thankful to dr sir manjula and also to mohan for hand holding me in difficult times and uh, many times when i was not in the alignment uh, she has made us she had made me to undergo you know what you call uh, the practices with dedication and uh, consistency and these practices when i implemented and I worked on myself with inner self and then manifested most of the things into reality is all because of her teachings guidance and hand holding me and lot of business opportunities are coming in the way and i'm 100% sure that in the days to come in the months to come all my desires will be fulfilled and it will be a great boon to a great inspiring to everybody so that all can learn with uh, consistency practice and make their desires also uh, fulfilled thank you thank you one and all thank you arun kumar right anybody would like to share your experience today's session yes ma'am so uh, we had been uh, learning lot about these uh, uh, laws uh, in bits and pieces in different uh, sessions Uh, uh from you and, uh, and and mohan both of you so it was a uh, how to be you know correlate uh, all these five laws with the way uh, we are the deliberate uh, creator of our life so um, this all five laws uh, in compendium at a one uh, common uh, point and how is it going to impact our life it was a great learning so i think uh, yeah, we've been uh, hearing in bits and pieces in different sessions but it 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 all has been brought to a common point and uh, i'm sure with the practice of uh, these laws would uh, definitely be giving us the, the, the desired results which we are aiming at so uh, i'm personally uh, you know uh, grateful uh, you know And to be part of this forum and uh, and and keep on evolving, keep on learning from you, man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Sanjeev ji. Grateful to you also for giving us opportunity to serve you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Mohan ji. Yes, I I learn lot of things. Uh, law of manifestation. Uh, I uh -huh. also know from this session. I am uh -huh. a leading as creator. Yes. Yes, yes you are the leading age creator i am the leading age creator <laughs> yes yes so happy thank you so much ma'am and so grateful to you ma'am and uh, your session ma'am thank you ma'am thank you thank you so much great you are actually you, you and sanjeev ji don't open only but you guys are talking i'm so happy <laughs> so good 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 that you are opening actually our soul uh, somewhere you know all these days while i was doing the spiritual uh, you know so work with me 
our soul want to do the expression self expression most of us we are not expressing our self because of the fear fear of rejection fear of judgment fear of criticism fear of oh what if they blame me what if they will do the moment you start expressing yourself that's why we actually came to this planet earth to express let's say the baby is crying and if you are saying shut up how does that baby feels baby feels lost right they feel that oh i don't even deserve to shout i don't even deserve to talk what am i doing in this life are you getting it kashish yes yes every soul came to this planet earth to express self expression doing the things which we love to do most of us we are feeling bored in our life and most of us doesn't have purpose we don't know what to do it's, we feel boredom it's because we are not doing the things which we love to do there is so much misalignment with our soul and our ego and our body now we are discovering we are in the process of discovering and in that process one thing is self expression no matter what others will think express you talk wrong fine still talk that's how we learn even i used to do hundreds of mistakes it's okay we fumble mumble and then we learn never hold yourself express your feelings it's a great art not everyone will have that getting it express self expression yes, yes, very very yes, important every soul wants to talk and express their feelings how they feel so express let others also express you also express getting it yes yes ma'am yes ma'am yes, when you do this actually i'm telling you guys you just think it will happen your soul is ready to do it whatever you want to have it be it money assets whatever it is ready to give you everything only thing is you don't doubt yourself yes kashish so how are you feeling how is the session yeah it is nice i it is like true modern spirituality <laughs> this is what i can yeah. summarize like all yeah. these things like uh, how to i mean uh, yeah. some people call it god some people call it universe some people call it some other uh, you know uh, energy uh, yeah. it is there like to be aware of that and to get it like in the past people have had this in a very uh, different way and probably a difficult way <laughs> and you are teaching us all this in a very easy way and day to day like how we can get it day to day that is how yeah. i learned that is what i learned beautifully put it so thank you so much for putting in a simple uh, you know in a summary that is a modern spirituality yes see those days they used to walk and later on they found the bullock cart and then slowly they found the buses and then trains now there is a boats steamers and airplanes so you want to go in a bus or you want to come in a airplane with me <laughs> flying uh, flying car <laughs> flying only right yes. with speed we want jet speed jet speed this is what a jet speed abraham teachings are jet speed and my teachings are ultra jet speed 
because I've gone through all those old model of spirituality. It doesn't work. It, it takes longer time. And you guys are much, much, much in an advanced practice step. Like the kind of knowledge that you guys are having today. There are people who are practicing for ages, 30, 20 years, 10 years, still they don't have clarity. Yes, we are getting spirituality in easy way. Absolutely. It's very easy, dead easy. Like eating a chocolate. Even I didn't know that spirituality is so easy. Now only I'm realizing after six mm. years of teaching. Oh, yeah, one more, was... one more thing I would, yes. uh, wanted to tell for a long time. It comes to my mind and I forget. I mean, I'm so engrossed in listening that I forget to tell. Like, uh, uh, we all know about this mathematician Raman, no? Uh, Ramanujan, Ramanujan, who invented zero. Yes. So... And he has written lots of laws about the uh, uh, about ast ast astronomy, like yeah. lots of laws about uh, planets and all these things, which right. are still uh, to be revised and studied. And yeah. uh, in, in someone asked him, like, from how you know all these things? Like these, whatever you're talking, those telescopes are still not developed to see all these so many light years ahead. And what he used to answer is, my uh, goddess helped me all this in my dreams. Okay. okay. And after joining this course, I've realized what, what energy is that was telling him all this. It was his soul which was guiding him. I mean, like, people used to consider him mad, but this is what it is. If he, he was manifesting it and he was having it and he has written it down. And now people, so after, after his death, after so many years of his death, that they're realizing, yes, whatever he is written is, yes, correct. And it is existing. Thank so you so this much. This is what I want to tell you. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Kashish. See, so wonderful she spoke. It's really beautiful, isn't it? See, eh, those days, Ramanujan, we now we have telescope, astronomy, so many things. Those days, he didn't have anything. But he used to tell, okay, my God was guiding me. The God is soul, as she rightly, rightly said. The soul was showing, showing him clearly with the visions that this is what it is. And that's why they are, he's able to do it. And that is what your soul is also doing. See, this is what now we are activating the extra senses, which is your pineal gland. And the third eye, third eye chakra. So once you awaken this third eye chakra, so automatically you will start, the intuitions will start flowing into you. This is how I was actually Today, one uh, girl was asking me, like, do you connect with the energies? Do you speak? Actually, I used to do it. Without knowing, actually, I used to talk to source, uh, the creator. I used to talk to spirits also. There are When I was doing a theta healing, there are some spirits used to come, ghost. They used to cry with me, like, you know, this is what happened. That's why I stuck here. Then I used to help them to reach the dimension. Okay, they used to go happily. So all these works I have done and everybody used to, you know, see me like as if I'm a goddess, as if I'm like, you know, some extra power, like Shakti, Shivan. I was like, come on, I'm not nothing. I'm just Manjula only. I'm just doing, this is simple work. But when I just realized I was already doing such a great work, it just because of my soul. But after the session comes out, I'll be normal. But only in that session, I've become very, very powerful. Even in the same, in the sessions also. Before the session, I'm absolutely normal. But the moment I sit in this chair, I don't know. I will become some other person. I completely, the way I talk, the way I behave is absolutely different. And without script, talking for two hours, do you think it is easy? Even the Big chief minister, prime minister, they have a script for five minutes. And they'll think that I'll forget. And whereas I'm like getting downloads again and again, and I'll keep talking. <coughs> it's 
isn't it a magic yes yes magic it is a magic yes this is what soul i am not talking the soul is coming and talking and talking to you guys transforming you and seeing that you are actually equal as me you are the brahman the creators <clears throat> so powerful actually same like how the ramanujan the math the great mathematician had a source has a vision has a god guiding him you also gods you also have a souls who will guide you 24 by 7 because i cannot guide you 24 by 7 because i'm limited whereas your soul is unlimited it can be with you 24 by 7 and can guide you all the time that's what i'm doing you guys connecting with your soul i'm giving this key to you so whereas you can access any point of time and you can get the guidance you can be happy you do not have to depend on me i don't want anyone to depend on me i want everyone to be independent after one year if of course you will be independent but even after if you want my guidance definitely i'll do it but my idea is most of you all want to become independent so that your soul is powerful as my soul as any other soul it will keep guiding you it will keep diverting you to the right path only thing is trust that intuition work on yourself the more you work on the more great results that you get and i want you all to applaud kashish having three children and having a small baby infant 3 months old still she is attending 2 hours of session this is the power is a lady a woman can do anything not only women anybody can do anything and she is the proof congratulations kashis and i'm really 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 proud of thank you, you. I truly thank you, love you so much <laughs> okay so thank you so much i may not reply to you all guys but i keep having all the blessings to you i keep sending you my love and blessings always it will be there right so i'm not going to take much time a time of you so we'll wind up for today so thank you so much please share this posters with your friends so that they all can benefit tomorrow you can also join and you can experience so that you'll get more and more powerful okay the more and more who doesn't want more abundance right so get the abundance enjoy all right take care good night take care everyone i love you all love yourself bye thank you so much good night ma'am good night ma'am <laughs> good night good night bye